the latest on the story that struck such a chord across this country. A 68-year-old grandmother taunted by four children on a school bus. All of it caught on tape. The video sparked a national family conversation about compassion. And today, those school children, accompanied by their parents, joined together in an apology. Here's ABC's John Schriffen. Yeah, you're fat. Tonight, the 13-year-old boys tape tormenting their 68-year-old bus monitor are in hiding. After receiving hundreds of death threats, they are publicly apologizing. I am so sorry for the way I treated you, one writes. When I saw the video, I was disgusted and could not believe I did that. The father of one of the boys made his son sit down and watch the video. He says they both cried. He was very remorseful. I think it really it really hit him that what had happened and, and you know what he did and well, what the boys had done. In fact, Robert Helm was so disturbed by what he saw, he went to Karen Klein's house to apologize in person. CNN's cameras were there. Louis Rescio Jr., the seventh grader who shot the video, says he originally wanted to submit it to the popular Comedy Central show, Tosh.0. I see people record bullying every day on YouTube, so I'm like, why would this be a problem? Louis says he now knows that was wrong. Meantime, the grandmother at the center of the storm is getting the last laugh. <laughs> In the three days since the video was posted on YouTube, this website set up to send her on vacation has raked in more than $550,000. Support is pouring in. Walt Disney Company, ABC's parent company, offered Klein a free trip to Disney World. Southwest Airlines says they'll pay for her flight. And these Marines from Fort Meade in Maryland made a video of their own. Ms. Klein, we have your back. Hurrah. Hurrah. It really makes me feel great. I'm excited, I'm happy that people are like this. As for the young boys who taunted her, She's leaving it up to the school board to discipline them and teach them a life lesson. John Schriffen, ABC News, Rochester, New York.